Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria, and yes, we are rolling in Elfmas. I'm so excited about today's video because elves, you all have been asking this question multiple times in many different variations. You'll have to keep asking me, Lost Cherry, how good is it? Is it really good? Is it really worth the hype? Then on the flip side, I keep hearing bitter peach, bitter peach. Is it really worth the hype? Is it good? Is it good? Oh my goodness, both of these are mad expensive. Are they worth the hype? But everybody keeps talking about them. So today we are going to put these questions, these rumors, what have you to bed. Today we are doing Tom Ford Lost Cherry versus Tom Ford Bitter Peach. Yes, these are both fragrances from Tom Ford's private blend collection. So this should be fun. I'm really excited about it and I hope you are too. So yeah, let's take care of our housekeeping business first and then we're gonna get right into the video. Lipstick of the day, everyone. I went with an urban chic vibe, meaning cap hoodie situation, but with a popping red lip because we're still a little bit glamorous here. So we went with Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick and this is the shade American Doll. Get into American Doll. She is just bright, cherry red liquid lipstick formula one of my favorites in my collection as well as used to be one of my absolute favorites to put on clients during this time of year for holiday parties love it now fragrance of the day of course we're gonna do a fragrance we're talking about fragrance today <laughs> so today we went with mark jacobs and this is none other than the perfect intense perfect intense at the time I'm filming this video, the Sephora sale for fragrance, 20% off, is still going on. And yeah, you can get this one too. I actually bought mine at Sephora at their last like friends and family sale. This is good. This is really good. And I got compliments galore on it today when I went and got my eyes done at my eye doctor. So yeah, perfect intense. Some things we're gonna use to compare the two fragrances. We're gonna do price. We're going to do longevity. And more importantly, should I get this? That's gonna be the real question here. Are these really worth the hype? That's the question everybody really wants to know anyway. And lastly, which one is the better buy? So those are our four areas of criteria slash questions that we're going to be answering concerning the fragrances. Lost Cherry launched in November, 2018. And oh, boy, did she come through and shut the world down because this was a different spin and different wavelength for Tom Ford. Tom Ford's private blend, especially any Tom Ford, honestly, even his signature is known for being heavy hitters. So the fact that he went fruity this time was a very big change for Tom Ford if you've been following him for a long time. I do have the notes here. I will read them to you. It's considered a warm and spicy scent, warm, sweet gourmands. The key notes are black cherry, tonka bean, and almond. That is actually very, very spot on, I must say. <laughs> now, the next one is Bitter Peach. Bitter Peach came out a little bit later. So Bitter Peach came out in October of 2020. Yes, it was born during the lovely situation that we are still all processing and still trying to figure out what we're going to do next. But yes, Bitter Peach came out then, and I will read the notes as well. Bitter Peach is considered a floral, actually, Top notes are peach accord, Sicilian blood orange, and cardamom oil. Mid notes, heliotrope, divina oil, rum absolute, cognac oil, jasmine, absolute sun back. Base is sandalwood, benzoin, resonant, cashmere and vanilla, tonka bean, absolute, labdanum, absolute, styrax, and patchouli. Yeah, um, that has a lot going on with the it. price for both. So let's talk about our price. Prices are evenly matched. Um, their travel size, which is the smallest size you can get, 10 milliliters is $75. And both of these go all the way up to $4.99 or $500 for their 100 mil bottle. So eek. yeah, they are expensive. So they are evenly matched when it comes to pricing. And of course, since we're talking about them, yes, I do have both. I have a 100 ml bottle of the Tom Ford Lost Cherry, which my older elves have seen me feature many times on the channel. So you know I love it and I do wear it. And then I also have a 30 ml bottle of the Tom Ford's Bitter Peach, which the 30 ml sizes of both of these just came out essentially these took their precious time coming out they didn't come out like in mainstream until around october i've had mine since july hey pays to have people 
they look out for you. <laughs> Spoiler alert, get you a sales associate. That's all I got to say. So for the sake of the fragrance appeal segment of this here video, I'm gonna spray them. So I was cherry. Ooh. Mm. This is grown up cherries. This is liqueur cherry. So this isn't bubblegum ring pop cherry, but this is your cherries you've had soaking in some adult beverages. You know, it's that time of year. But that almond note in here is just delicious. And that tonka bean makes your mouth water. So this is truly a gourmand scent. Personally, I wear this a lot when I go out and I especially wear it when I go to bed. It's not so, it's not so like in your face. It's just beautiful. It's just really, really beautiful. Now, the thing about Lost Cherry, let's talk about it, longevity. And this is something people really want to know because people are like, okay, if I'm about to spend on average 200 plus standard bottle, 50 mil being 368, yes, $368, uh, how long does this last? And this is going to change my life. That's what people really want to know. And I gotta say, you all, Lost Cherry really struggles in the longevity department. That's one of the biggest issues with Lost Cherry. Honestly, I get about a solid three, maybe four hours on a good day. But after that, it turns into a total skin scent. <sighs> but before we get to that point, like right now, how I'm sniffing it, this is beautiful. With this one, I highly recommend getting the travel size bottle. So like, for example, right now during the holiday season, they have the gift sets available in both scents, Lost Cherry and Bitter Peach. But specifically for Lost Cherry, you need the travel size because you're gonna wanna touch up if you're gonna have a long night out on the town or just all day because she ain't gonna make it. She gonna tap out. That's the only thing. Now, should you get this, if you are a cherry lover, if you are an almond lover, which I am of both, I absolutely love a cherry note. I love an almond note in something. Then yes, you should get it. This scent is for you and it is a head turner. It's sexy and dare I say, it's a wonderful date night scent. Mm, it's, it's good, it's, it's, it's really good, it's really good. If you can catch it on sale like right now, you can because there's so many fragrance sales on the holidays. I think this is the time to get it. And two, I think you should also at least try it, get a sample of it to see if you like it on your nose, you know, get a whiff of it. And two, most importantly, try it on your skin because again, y'all, 368 is steep. But I think you should get it. Because <sighs> I mean, hello, I mean, I got the big bottle, so th there's that. <laughs> All right, y'all, now we're gonna move on to the Bitter Peach scent. Bitter Peach is newer to the collection. I got Lost Cherry first, then I got Bitter Peach. I had to hunt you down because yeah, she was hard to get in this size, but I'm glad I got it. So now we got our strip and we're gonna spray some Bitter Peach. Again, she got a lot more going on. Ooh. So now with, with Bitter Peach, I will say the trick with Bitter Peach is how you could just smell Lost Cherry as soon as it comes out the bottle and that's what it is because it has way less going on with it. You can't do that with Bitter Peach. Bitter Peach, you got to let this sit for five minutes. That's been my experience every time. So like fresh spray, how I just did right then, it was like, what? Five minutes is where the magic happens with Bitter Peach, y'all. See, a lot of people, from my understanding, thought this was going to be a childish, super girly or princess type of peach, like as in Mario. No, this is your peaches have been soaking in bourbon all day. That's what this is. So, you know, this, these are grown fragrances, all right? No, this ain't childish nowhere. I mean, hello, we're paying this type of money. It needs to be grown. <sighs> oh, bitter peach. Okay, now the fragrance appeal. This one it's gonna be for the person that has an acquired taste. You gotta like an earthy scent. And you also gotta like a boozy scent to like bitter peach. So this one isn't going to have the same level of mass appeal that a Lost Cherry is going to have. So in this category, this one is more of an acquired taste. Lost Cherry is more of a crowd pleaser. Generally speaking, nine out of 10 people gonna like this one. So when it comes to the fragrance appeal, Lost Cherry is the easier to buy. If you were gonna do a blind buy per se of these two, I would say do Lost Cherry. Bitter Peach though is for a person you know scents, you know you like earthy scents, you don't mind a little sweetness mixed in, and you've been wearing fragrances for a while so you know what you're getting into, then you can get into Bitter Peach. So the more experienced fragrant person in your life, you can get this one. Now let's get into longevity. Ah, this is what people care about. Honestly y'all, hands down, let me tell you, 
Bitter Peach crushes Lost Cherry when it comes to longevity. It's not even a competition. I smell this all day. I get a full seven, eight hours plus out of Bitter Peach, hands down. Let me tell y'all something. This actually was my favorite date night scent when we went to LA, me and the head elf. And let me tell you, this lasted all night. I did not have to touch up. I did not have to bring a decan or a travel size. I could spray it when I was getting ready and that was it. And I could smell it when we got back in. And honey, LA nights, we were out all night. <laughs> So yes, let me tell you, Bitter Peach is tried and true. Oh, should you get Bitter Peach? Let me say this, Bitter Peach, you should get it only if you have a more sophisticated fragrance palette. You can't be new to fragrance and do Bitter Peach. You should only get this if you are well experienced and understand earthy scents and understand the heavy hitter that is Tom Ford. Then you can do Bitter Peach. The average person, I would say no for Bitter Peach. And no, it's not a blind buy. Oh, I'm sorry, this is just good. Ooh. If I had to make a decision, which one would be the better buy? And to me, if we're gonna talk mass appeal, if we're gonna talk longevity, if we're gonna talk price, just all of it, which one are you gonna actually reach for more? And I will tell y'all, I, I gotta admit this, between these two, I do actually reach for the Lost Cherry more. So I will say, if you're gonna decide between the two, I think you'll get more love and more wear out of your Lost Cherry because it's an easy reach, it's a blind reach. Bitter Peach, I have to be in the mood for and be like, oh, I know I'm gonna come with it. I'm about to shut it down. I'm about to turn heads. I mean, yes. I will say just general population, just going grocery shopping and those type of things, I get more compliments on the Lost Cherry. But though, I will say y'all, uh, between these two, Head Elf loves Bitter Peach on me more than he does Lost Cherry. Lost Cherry, he might go, oh, that's nice. But oh, he knows when I wear it. He's like, oh, you got on Bitter Peach. You put on Bitter Peach today. So it, Head Elf knows Bitter Peach. So personally, this is why I gotta keep this one in the collection because yeah, it's good. It's good for date night. <laughs> he loves it. So that is my breakdown on the two cents. Perfect thing is now both of them do have smaller sizes available. They have the travel sizes. They have the 30 mil sizes. They have the, the standard one, the 50 mils that both of them came out with. And then of course they have the big daddies, the 100 mils. During the holiday season, take advantage of getting the gift sets. The gift sets come with a 50 mil bottle, which is a 1.7 fluid ounce and the travel size bottle. And you get them for the same price of what the full size bottle would cost by itself. So the gift set is $368, which of course you can catch that on sale right now. Saks keeps having a sale, Nordstrom, Sephora. You don't need to pay full price. Like do not pay full price for these cents. You can catch a discount, you can catch a deal. Just saying, okay? <laughs> we don't do that. We save coin over here. But all right, you all, that wraps up my comparison of the two. And yeah, let me know in the comments. I have an idea. Elves, let me know which fragrance you are team. You're on the team of. If you are on Team Lost Cherry, drop cherries. If you're on Team Bitter Peach, drop them peaches poo in the comments. Until next time, elves, I will catch y'all later. Bye, y'all.